Um, mm. Right, Janet is saying, when closing large hoop earring, would you solder hoop ends and solder on jump ring for ear wire link into? Bend ends to interlink into loop. This customer wants three small cutouts soldered around the circle. Ooh, I would always, when it comes to earrings, definitely do some soldering. What, what personally, I don't like to see, personally, it's also green one, <laughs> is um, really no thought gone into how the appearance looks. So if you, for instance, have a disc, and this is a solid disc, what I would never do is solder on a whole, say, jump ring. And I'm not, not really sure exactly what you mean, but I would never solder on a whole jumping on top or a whole jumping on top. I just think it looks really, really ugly. Personally, what I would be inclined to do, if you are joining discs, I think, I think that's what you mean if you're joining discs and you've got another disc up here that size, I would always get um, a jump ring, literally cut it in half and solder half on the one half on the other. They don't stick out as much, then you can interlock that with a jump ring to go through and you can solder. And likewise down here, it's a half a jump ring, half a jump ring on a something bigger and then you can put your link through it. That is what I would rather see, little jump rings rather than a solid piece and then a jump ring and then another jump ring. I just think they look really, really ugly and necessary. So try and look for something that is more um, in keeping little jump rings, it doesn't distract from the main features with what you're doing. I'm not quite sure really what exactly what you, what, what you mean by the description because my brain isn't working. And then if you want to join that onto an ear wire, half, an ear, half a jump ring again, and then the ear wire then would go off the top of that. <laughs>